Hello and welcome to today's show. Today I'm going to conclude my investigation in the process of electro etching aluminum and other metals by showing a couple of pieces which have been finished. Now these have been finished using the Cerakote product and process which involves of course blasting of the piece for preparation. Now we're going to look at that. But before I do, remember as always, the purpose of this video is not to instruct, but entertainment. There is no warrant either written or implied and none shall be inferred. Now let's go get to it. We're going to do the final installment in seeing now, the uh, vinyl mask etching works. These pieces are post uh, Sarah coating. They have been blasted and coated, and I think that's probably something of interest to see how well things hold, held up. If we look right here, we see these are the standard um, engravings that came with uh, the lower. This was blank. I want to show the deer. I'm giving it time to focus. Do you see the uh, the texture of this particular color is uh, gunmetal gray, but you can see the depth that the electro etching was able to obtain and the details that survived after the blasting. If we come over to the uh, National Firearm Act text which I'm not in California. California mandates that this be added on any uh, finished or made firearm. I, of course, don't live there, but I was interested in how can I do this because uh, in the case of uh, theft or otherwise, it'd be really nice, inheritance perhaps, it'd be nice to have everything already made, so to speak. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And that's... Uh, I think turned out pretty well. The lettering, uh, the techniques we've already discussed, but it's really just about how did it fare after Cerakoting. Now this one, the upper, is actually mounted on a federally registered lower, federally registered firearm. So we've complied with all the law. And I'm just trying to show, there is the, the text that we etched in on the upper 